Hi guys, I'm Dave. This is Beer Virtually. Today we have a beer from a semi-local brewer named Three Daughters. Three Daughters Brewing. This is Awake uh, Coffee Blonde Ale. I have not had this yet. I've had a couple other things. Oh, that's interesting. I've had a couple other things from them and they've all been pretty good. This is pouring very light. Oh, with a ton of head. Look at that. It's almost like this can was shooken up. I don't think it was, though. I've never seen that. And that's like, that's crazy. It's almost as bad as Scott poured on the boat. <laughs> Alright, we're going to have to take this really slow. That's going to have to sit a little bit. Um, so I don't eat meat. I've been eating meat for about two years now. But someone is out here grilling, one of my neighbors is grilling hamburgers, and it smells delicious. I still respect the meat, all that stuff, but I just don't eat it. Um, so I don't know what we're going to do with this. This is a ton of head. I'm going to have to take a break and come back. Well, let's talk through some of this first. So, um, Three Daughters, Awake Coffee Blondale. I like the uh, the, the nautical, th all their stuff is not pretty nautical themed, but Awake, like, you know, like a boat wake, the boat bow, uh, it's got a blonde on the boat. So, I guess we'll take a sip out of the can. For as light as the color is, which you can start to see on the bottom, uh, it's slightly hazy, but it but a pretty light color. Um, lots of coffee flavor. A lot, a lot of coffee flavor. More coffee than beer-esque flavor. ABV is 5.0. And the IBUs, I believe, are 23. Yeah, 23 on the IBU scale. Um... This is a coffee blonde ale. So a blonde ale, um, I'm not sure how blonde ale differs from a regular ale. Ales in general tend to be fairly blonde, so I'm not, not quite sure where that is. I can't believe how much head this has. Sometimes if you just start to take a sip, there oils from your lips or whatever will break up the head on the back it says the rebellious blonde don't let the rich coffee flavor fool you this one is a bright slightly sweet cold and blonde ale let her surprising twist take your taste buds for a ride hashtag craft beer life I like that that's good 3dbrewing.com, three daughters, three daughters brewing. Um, I've had a couple other things. Uh, their rod bender I've had, and they have a um, stern stout or something like that. It's, it's pretty good, also. It's starting to go down a little bit. It, it, there is a an absolute for how light this is. I don't know how they get so much coffee flavor in there without influencing the color more. I would think that. If you put roasted beans, even if you use the whole beans or you use some sort of coffee extract or something like that, that it would be darker for how much coffee flavor there is. That is good. And it's fairly light. It's not as light as... Uh, I, should, I don't know. I should, I should come up with like a scale for how light something is. I would say it's light to medium. It's not quite medium heaviness, and it's definitely not heavy, but it's not light either. There's there's a little more going on. There's a little more to it. This is very refreshing. Lots of coffee flavor. I don't know, however, if this would be a boat beer. 
It's a little too heavy, maybe a little too much going on to be an out in the sun hot boat beer. Um, maybe if you were uh, cooking on a boat and you had this along with some food, I could see that. Although the coffee flavors might, you have to kind of keep that in mind. That may clash with some other things, but but I, but I mean that that being said, it's, it's, this is very good. And yeah, I don't, I, I'm trying to think what food this would go well with. This might be one you just drink by itself, you know, while you're waiting for food, maybe or or after dinner. That's what I'm doing. I'm drinking this after dinner. We had a lovely day, lovely weekend here. Really, the weather was weather was gorgeous. Um, it's a little chilly now. It's about sixty out, but it's it's absolutely absolutely gorgeous out. So what else? What else? Very cool can, like I mentioned. Um, <laughs> the the registration numbers on the boat are three DB, which is three daughters brewing, and then two two two, which I'm not sure what the two 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 stands for. be said about this it's an easy drinking beer from three daughters lots of coffee flavor i mean a ton of coffee flavor especially for a blondale so the last beer i did was arabicadabra this is a different coffee flavor but it's almost just as much coffee flavor as that this is good i'd like to do some more stuff from three daughters um, and do some more stuff from just local breweries in general. We have so many great local breweries breweries here in Orlando and uh, with Cigar City in Tampa and there's a bunch of other ones, Green Bench, uh, J-Dubs, a number of other ones over in the Tampa area. So I'd definitely like to, um, like to review some more of those. Uh, maybe even do some brewery tours over there. I mean, we'll spend a weekend and hit a couple of them, but this is good. This is a, um, a, this was a bit cloudy, and there's definitely a bit of sediment at the bottom, which I'm kind of surprised. There's quite a bit of sediment. I wonder if you can see in the can as well. Not really a lot in the can, Look, uh, a little bit. Looks like most of it... Most of it translated, uh, most of it was suspended or, and, and is now in the bottom of the glass. I don't think I want to drink all that, so. We'll get close. This was good though. Three Daughters, Coffee Blondale, A Wake Coffee Blondale. I'm definitely going to do more from uh, Three Daughters. Um, they have, I was looking at their release um, calendar. They have a grapefruit shandy planned for March or April that I'd really like to try. I'm a big grapefruit fan, almost as much as coffee. So, uh, but until next time, cheers.